Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm just kidding. <coughs> um, so, <laughs> there's been a couple of things on here um, that have kind of made me mad, and you guys gave me suggestions, and I didn't listen to you. So, I'm going to follow your suggestions, and I'm going to replace these doors. These doors right here, these need to be glass. Um, but in order to do that, we have to take down all the wires and the doors themselves, and it's going to be a pain. So for now, uh, let's just move B, move B, get those out of the way for the second. Uh, the other thing was, I don't have all the purpley presents that I want, um, because of that autosave fail thing that was happening the other day, I only have like two of the, uh, no, I just have one of the purple bobbly head. Oh, sorry, I mean, uh, the wobbly gift of low confidence, because <laughs> we don't know if it's an actual wobble head or not. Um, yeah, we do. We know what it is. Everybody knows what it is. Uh, that's that. And if I have time, I'm going to run over the seas. Under the sea. Under the sea. Um, if Hoover would ever come back. Come back, Hoover. Baby, come back. <clears throat> um, and we'll go see if there's something down inside the paint shop or around that area. <clears throat> it's a deal. It's a deal, deal, deal. Deal. Buddy. Serenok. With your smuck. <clears throat> Sorry. I need four glass doors. So, we're gonna go grab some glass doors. And then we're gonna go hang out over there for a little bit. Oh, gosh! No, we're not. Because it's nighttime. And it's nighttime once again. Alright, let's hurry. Let's hurry and see if I can get there before they close. Corey, stay open! Why aren't you like Walmart? Stays open 24 hours a day or Walgreens. Walgreens, 24 hours. 24 hour pharmacy. Shop anytime. Whee! Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong way. Please. I need the doors more than I need the presents, so I'll just grab the doors. Please hurry. Oh, I got one. Go, 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 go. <clears throat> just buy them. Come on. Bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. No, thank you, Cory. Go. Next one. Quickly. Don't close yet, Cory. I'm so close. Oh, oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. It's a glass door, too. It just shattered. Do you have a warranty? No? Um. Come on. I can, I can do this. I can do this. Two more. Oh, hurry. Please tell me my base has just enough lag to, like... No, dropped it again. Come on, come on. Oh, dude. Not cool, Corey. I see you back there. You can't hide. All right. So now, gotta get these out the door. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Um. Open and go. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Corey. Corey, I left my window door in there. All right, fine. I got a key. There we go. And for those of you that just wondered how I did that, um, I do have a video on it. Go watch the vid. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> wall glitch. Code primate. Code primate wall glitch. That's like an old school trick for all of my original fans. Uh, speaking of which, hey, I asked for clues to um, the Beesmus Day 3, which involved Yoke your Tail. Yoke Tail? So, um, I should uh, I should go read the comments. And that's, that's what I'll do. If I, you know, if it comes down to it, I will go read some comments. In fact, we might we might do that if we can't uh, if we can't go get presents and if Hoover doesn't show back up. Hmm, it takes about seven minutes. Um, the reason I can do this is because uh, the fact that nobody watched <laughs> the other one. Well, I, I won't say nobody watched because you guys did watch. It's just in comparison to my lumber videos, they don't get the same amount of views. It doesn't matter what I do. I could I could do Subnautica. There's somebody suggested do Subnautica. 
Uh, and I did go... Oh, wait, we don't have presents. I did go and get it because it's currently free. So, I don't know. You guys want me to do some sub Subnautica? Ah, I might. We'll see what's going on. Okay. Uh, let's lower the door. Hmm. Now how am I going to do this? I need to... Oh, wow. I need to, like, remove everything, don't I? Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's go ahead and move these wires down first. Here's one. Move the door out of the way. Move this door out of the way. Move that door out of the way. And the reason you have to move the, the I guess I don't have to move that wire. That one's that one should be fine, right? Yeah, that's that one's okay. <clears throat> I do have to move these inside wires though. There we go. And I do have to I have to move these because they're in the way of the other one. So you know how some uh, garage doors have those windows on top? Like there's a no, I don't want to move that. <clears throat> they have like a um, a window across the uh, the top of the doors. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna pretend like the glass door is one of those windows. <clears throat> do -do 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 -do. By the way, there's this guy Volt Voltrix Volter Vol. I'll have to go look it up on Twitter. Anyhow, he is making some amazing door builds, like. Things I've never even seen before. <clears throat> uh, the reason that you want to do the glass doors first is because by doing a glass door, the glass door is going to res in first. That's too high. Come down some. No, come down. Come down one. Why are you, why are you not... Just get in there. There we go. That should be about right. That's horrible. That was wrong. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. There it is. That's lined up. Okay. Let's grab the other one. Move. Rotate, rotate. Right there. And now we can put this one down. Now when we move B. Sweet. There we go. So now, <clears throat> whenever they res in, these won't be stuck on the bottom because the glass doors will come in first. I can do the same with this one over here. Move these little guys out of the way. Oh, um, by the way, for everybody that's commented, hey, how did you make those garage doors? Here you go. Here's how you do it. And you're welcome. The reason the doors move the way that they do is because of the order that you're putting putting them back in. Like you have to make sure that this door goes in first, you open it, and then you place these doors right in alignment with the other ones. Rotate, rotate. Uh, turn, turn. There we go. That could be upside down, I don't know. Is that the right alignment? Sure, why not? Sure, sure it is. It's all good. Mm, rotate. Turn, rotate. Oh, um, by the way, um, today I have to say it was a very rough day. Um, basically, because I stayed at the house to, and I worked from home, but um, the kids, when I woke up this morning at um, six o'clock to get them ready and get them breakfast and get them on the bus. Both of them were running fevers and coughing, so they ended up staying home from school today. So on top of my normal work from home day, I also took care of the wife, and I took care of the house, and I took care of the kids. <clears throat> it wasn't exactly what I would call a, you know, a planned day. It was, it was quite rough. It was, it was a rough day. I'll just say that. Um, let's see. That makes them go up. That makes them go down. Okay. 
if I can put these these wires back, right? Yeah, this should this should be fine. <coughs> Let's see. I want the up wire. to stagger these that way they don't trigger each other there we go that should be good do, 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 do. okay the these are the up wires right these are hooked up to the up 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 won't be able to hook that one up yet oh it's already it's already daytime Yay! I wonder if Cory's awake. Wow, that was actually... That went a lot faster than I thought it would. Hold on. There we go. We want these nice and flat. Right here. And right there. Wait, wait, what? <clears throat> this might be the wrong one. Hold on. Did I hook that up right? Yeah, it's down. That's right. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I hooked up the wrong one. No, I did, I did it right. The bottom wire is the up wire. Or, the bottom wire is the top wire, which makes it go down. Oops. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Alright. We'll just have to open it like this. There we go. Alright, let's go get those presents. And don't take what I said, like, depressingly. Um, because it's okay to have a hard day. It's okay to have a sad day. A rough day. And it's how you perceive it or how you take it into context um, because yeah it was a scary day Monday it was very scary um, but it's it has to be done like she has to get the surgery she has to be cared for it has to get done there's no well what if I need to do it or what what if we just don't do it? No, that's not a question. It's you've got to to work pretty hard. I mean, for your family, absolutely. And whenever, whenever your mom, or your dad, um, brother or sister, they come to you and they ask you to do something, why would you complain? Or I guess I don't understand. Whenever I was asking my daughter and my son to do things for me today and there was no question to it it was yeah I'll go do that for you dad I was like that's really cool that's and a lot of the times whenever like when there's not something traumatic going on like when it's just a normal day and we're, we're our normal selves <laughs> which day is that code <laughs> never because we are not a normal family but like, you ask my daughter to go clean her room, or you ask my son to pick up some trash that's on the floor, and it's just this fight. Why is it such a fight? <clears throat> just pick it up. Just it, you know, it takes like two seconds. Two seconds, clean up the mess, and go on about your day. It's taking you longer to argue and to fight about the thing that you were asked to do. Clean your room. If if somebody. Like, if your parents ask you to go clean your room, go clean your room. If your boss tells you to go do a, a project, just get the project done. Like, I don't know why it becomes such a big deal sometimes. 
And that goes into context of like every day. Like in here, I need to get these presents. Just go get the presents. You know, why am I delaying? I know for a fact that the presents are not going to be here forever. Come on, Corey. Come on. Come on. I need to talk to you, buddy. There you go. Yes, please. You got it. I'm probably going to pick up some more of those ducks as well. Oh, and we still need to finish out the, the Christmas lights. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of stuff I need to get done. And then at the same time, there's this loud voice in the back of my head saying, No, you don't. You don't really have to do anything. I mean, I'm in here to enjoy myself and to have fun. And that's okay. And that's what I'm doing. And I encourage everyone to, like, take a time out. Especially if you've had a rough day. Like, if you have hard days like I've had. It's good to come into a video game and to vegetate. Not really push too hard or try something new or figure something out, but just do something mundane, Mun mundane to kind of take your mind off the day. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, no, not the purple present. Actually, yeah, the purple present. For those of you that don't know, the purple present is most likely going to be the ball. Considering that all the other presents are in the same wrapping that are the ball. And the purple presents, if you can get them open as fast as possible and you have a single digit ball, oh buddy, those things, hang on to them. Because if you have a single digit ball next year and it's a purple, like when the, when the next presents come out, that's going to be worth some money. All right. Uh, the other thing is special digit balls. So if you have digits one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, those are extremely rare. Because well, actually, they're all rare because there's only one of each. <clears throat> but if you happen to open one and you get like a one, 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 one hundred and eleven. Oh come on! I didn't, Corey. <laughs> and I know somebody's gonna say it. What about the 666 ball code? Yes, that is a special digit. 777 is going to be a special digit. 21. If you get the 21, or if you get the 2,121 ball, the 2121, those are all worth a lot more than they're actually worth. Um, for all the other ones, <clears throat> I think it's you take 10,000 minus its number and that's what it's worth uh, and I think that's all the way down until like 2000 because you're paying 7000 for it right now and with accounting deprecation uh, de depletion de depreciation like <clears throat> as the number goes up the value goes down and that's not to say like the 10 thousandth ball isn't worth anything it's still worth like three thousand, five thousand, seven thousand dollars. <clears throat> yes, I went to duck. To duck is amazing. <laughs> Watch the candy cane is gonna lead to the like the candy cane biome or something like that, and I'm gonna be like, no. It's gonna be a gingerbread man standing there. Give me payment. You must have tribute. <laughs> what do you want from me, gingerbread man? I want candy canes! I've got ducks! <laughs> Look at that. I had an entire scenario inside my head. Code, you're weird. Yeah, that's fine. I know I'm weird. <laughs> I have a lot of people telling me in my comments that I'm weird, but that's... You know, you, you really don't need to comment that. I mean, if you're just stating the obvious. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Priming. I make Roblox videos. Oh, and I also discussed with my wife tonight. I said, how would you feel, like, what do you think about me getting a second channel going that's non-Roblox? That way, if I feel like doing something like Subnautica <clears throat> or 
other content, you know, Skyrim, maybe, I could come in here and make videos about it. And it would not be family friendly. Uh, well, I don't want to say that. It would still be the same quirky, non curse, no cuss like me, but the video games themselves would be in question. They, they would go PG 13. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you think I should open up a second channel and put like age restriction or teen on it. I just gleeked. If you don't know what a gleek is, there's a special little glands underneath your tongue. And you've probably done it whenever you're sitting there talking and all of a sudden a stream of water comes out of your mouth. And it's not spit. It's like a... like that. was I buying anyway? <coughs> Anyhow, if you have a um, stream of water coming out from underneath your tongue, that is a gleek. And yes, you can train yourself to gleek on command. Um, oh gosh. What was I getting? Uh, I was, I was getting the, uh, those. Wasn't I? Oh my goodness. I need to get the gingerbread tribute, otherwise I'll never get to Candy Cane Land. By the way, that's not real. That's not a real thing. I was just making that up in my head. <clears throat> While I'm over here, I'll go pick up another sled. Or two. Or five. Or ten. And thank you for sending me all the pictures on Twitter of the, uh, the bobsled runs. Those things are awesome. I love them. I love them so much. If you have a really cool build, and you want to show it off to the world, it's got to be really cool. Like, you can't just, you know, put a 3x3 pixel art out there or something like that. 5x5 five five pixel art and be like, oh, look at this, it's awesome. No, no, no. I'm talking about, like, if you have an entire base of Mario pixelated pixel art, you know who I'm talking about. Um, I want to see it. Shoot it to me on Twitter. Uh, I have a lot of people who will try and DM me things on, um, on, uh, what's that thing that I'm sponsored on? Discord. <laughs> I don't answer DMs, no matter how cool they are, um, just because it leads to, uh, like, awkward conversation. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But if you want to write to me on Discord, then I will absolutely answer. Or, I, no, I won't answer. <clears throat> Got the sled ride set up. Sweet. I'm recording ATM. Smiley face. <laughs> By the way, thank you, Slick Mills. <laughs> He's one of the ones that showed me the uh, thing. Oh, I, I already bought that one. All right, it's, that one's bought. All right. Oh gosh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, there we go. Oh man, how far along? Oh my gosh, I made an entire episode <laughs> of buying presents. <laughs> Why are these so heavy? <clears throat> yes, please. Crazy cat lady. I don't even remember her real name. This is crazy cat lady from now on. Oh gosh. Alley oop. Ooh. 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 We're gonna stay in there. Oh, we're gonna have glitches. Things are gonna be glitching out here in a second. <clears throat> one more, one more. See, is this this is Casey, right? No, it's Jenny. Jenny, <laughs> there's my boat. 
Oh, that was another thing uh, that I mentioned. So we're getting this duckbird thing, right? What if, and this is this is a crazy idea. What if the duckbird has a seat attached to it and is rideable, and we can use it as a boat? <laughs> it doesn't seem very practical for getting palm wood, but you know, just saying. Oh yeah, perfect timing, huh? Thanks, Jenny. Good night. <coughs> Gotta go feed my cats and drink coffee. Weird, Jenny. Oh gosh. Oh, I should probably go get a scubus while I've got the uh, server loaded. There we go. Talk with Marily. <clears throat> okay. I'll just park this and then re-res the uh, the car so everything falls out, and then we'll run run back across here and go get a uh, a bee and the the pollen. So if you guys haven't seen it, <clears throat> I have a video on how to get the scubus, like the it's the. Uh, business 2018 lumber present and that one's fairly I mean it, it's fairly easy to get as long as you know the locations of all the uh, the flowers which huge huge shout out to mummy um, amazing gaming thank you for telling me where everything was Alley oop, alley oop, and res. Haha. -ha. It's like a little cartoon where everything stays there for a second, like, what is going on? <clears throat> and all of a sudden, the presents look down. Whoa! Do, 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 do. No, come on, I hit the lights. There they are. Taking my time just to moving along. You'll forget about me when I'm. Oh. Dead and gone? Oh. I think that's the words, isn't it? <clears throat> I don't know if those are the words or not. <laughs> oh, that you didn't go quite as far as I thought you would. There we go. I didn't want to get out of the car anyway. Oh, that was like some lumber master, uh, lumber master stuff right there. Come on, chop it. No, chop. No. Get out. Chop. Jump back in. Where's the bee? No, where's my bee? <clears throat> Oh, oh, wait, does it not work with the, uh, that axe? Or do I have to get rid of the scubas first? Because I've already got a scoob on this slot. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, wait. That might be the case. Hold up. Uh, I would have to walk back. Hmm. When you load... Load slot one. Do I already have a scoop on slot one? I already do. Uh, I do not have a it on slot two. So, just load this in real quick. <clears throat> I say real quick. <laughs> it's going to take a second. Uh, and we're almost at the 30 minute mark. So, I mean, this will be a good test. Good test. And unless I don't have any axes, in which case that's going to be bad. I don't remember. Did I have axes on slot two last time I loaded it in? Don't remember. Anyhow, I meant to do a lot of things this episode, and I didn't, but that's okay. I still, I feel like I've made an impact of some kind, and I hope if you did have a bad day, that it's going to be much better after this. And if you're having a good day, I hope it gets horrible. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I hope you continue to have a very good day. Oh, man. Mute. Maybe.
confirm that real quick. Please tell me that I have a an axe on me. If not, are the amber axes still for sale? We'll see. We'll see. The flower's still there. So it's still possible. We loaded in yet? Come on. I can tell that we're not loaded because I don't have a blueprint down here and it didn't say load successful. There it is. Oh yeah, we got we got axes. We're good. Come on, choppy chop. There's the bee. I knew I'd get one. Wait, where'd he go? B? Oh. Oh, he's zipping around. He's zipping around. He's a zippity doo daddy. Alright. So. Yoink. There you go, buddy. Got little yellow farts. <clears throat> do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's going to be a long walk back, so I mean, if you need to go take a break, go to the bathroom, grab a snack, something like that, you could probably do it now. Or you could fast forward and skip all this awesome commentary that I'm about to do, like some beatboxing. <laughs> could do that for you. <laughs> or like these funny jokes I've got. What, uh,. What type of overalls does Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. <laughs> or, um, I don't know. This just in, in the news? Oh, uh, by the way, Ninja, yes, the Fortnite Ninja, um, he made a comment, and I don't, I don't follow Ninja because he's like hardcore gamer. On, on Fortnite, and I mean that's what he's known for, and it's like it's like watching pro football. I like watching college football more than I do like pros. Pro pro is like it's a level that I'm not going to be able to sustain or get to <laughs> as I sit here playing pro lumber tycoon too. Um, no, that's that's just a I don't know. It's something that. This is me. But he said something on Jimmy Kimmel that I strongly, strongly agree with because um, he said, why watch somebody play video games? Why, why do you watch people play video games? And his response to it was incredible. I mean, it's exactly in alignment with what I believe. And he, he said, um, I don't, I mean, it's not going to quote this, but he said, watching people play video games at this level, at the level that you're seeing, it's like watching somebody in sports. I mean, yeah, you can you can go out and play football. It's like me going up to somebody that watches football and being like, why are you watching it? Doesn't that take away from the experience? Why don't you go out and do it yourself? You can always go play football yourself. That's the same concept. Yeah, we could go out in the yard and play some football or we could turn on the TV and watch some college kids like doing it semi-pro or watch some pro NFL games you know <clears throat> don't take me wrong I don't actually watch NFL but professional sports well that didn't work at all what no scoobus why but the B still works hmm Maybe I just need to go get more pieces. Maybe it was just the white one that works. Shall we try? I tell you what, I'm gonna go try and I will tweet some pictures of it if it happens. If not, then I probably won't tweet anything. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, who had a rough day. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, but only if you want to. That is your choice. I love you very much because you were here and you watched and you're amazing. And I think each and every one of you is an extremely unique and loving and intelligent human being. You're awesome.
I love you guys. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that, Jenny. Outro. Thank you.